Hey guys, Ernie here. Welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today we're finally going to take a look back there, which is my little man cave, uh, Paleo Hiker MD headquarters. So stay tuned. We're going to check out my shop and I hope y'all like it. All right, so to give you all a little bit of insight, there's our house and this is the old location of the house. Main road runs in front here. Uh, we're set off kind of far off the, the road. But this used to be the garage and it was uh, obviously enclosed and uh, made into a shop. I kind of have two areas. I have an indoor area here and I kind of consider that indoor because it's uh, air conditioned and I have an unair conditioned area over here. So we're gonna start over in the unair conditioned area. All right guys, it's actually a little later. <laughs> I had to stop for a little while. So here's the outside shop. I'm gonna turn on this other light over here. I've got some pretty nice LED lights that I installed here. It really adds a tremendous amount of light. Uh, so got a little, a little bit of my tools, not at all organized yet, but got my uh, circular saw. There's Tippy. Hey Tippy. Checking things out. So there's the chop saw. Got my small table saw down there stored, all my different tools. I've got a small air compressor, that's a new air compressor. You know, some of my air compressor stuff. All that stuff, this is an old, pretty neat old um, tool bench. And uh, I put that up there to hold things. Underneath here, let's give you all an example. Underneath here, there's storage. You can see, and there's light. So there's storage here, big storage area here, and another one here. I've got my pegboard storage over here with all my tools. I've got uh, chainsaw oils, that's you know two cycle oil, methanol or ethanol shield, all that kind of stuff, and um, some paints over here. And then in the back over here, I have a little bit more storage, as you can see. Plenty of room back here for stuff. Uh, that light is out for some reason. I'm not really sure why. I've got some very haphazard wood storage over here. Um, and just to be able to see, I've got all my chargers right now. Everything is um, still kind of in flux. Just now, I'm gonna go over to the air conditioned area, which is nice. Y'all can see a beautiful night here over the homestead let's go inside all right I've been working on this room quite a bit um, first off this room was originally um, a hobby room for the prior owner who liked trains and there you can see up top this uh, Louisiana landscape all the way around and on that rail up there he had a train that went all the way around which was pretty neat uh, so we're going to start over here um, I have lots of storage from my office I got all these cabinets it gives me plenty of room to store things uh, you know knives uh, a little bit nicer knives stuff like that just my custom knives so I have all that you can see I have clothing hygiene this is all stuff for backpacking stuff sacks uh, there's my mini split air conditioner which is awesome this is my wife's little area here for painting uh, here's kind of an old file cabinet again from the office which we're getting rid of and i took you can see just a lot of my pots and pans there's my new solo stove which i'm totally excited about i'm gonna make a video on that soon my jet boil then i have all these little boxes got these at ikea uh, utensils, ferro rods, paracord, bank line, stoves, you can see all the different things. Uh, over here, I've kind of got my lanterns and um, some of my hidden woodsman stuff. This is stuff that I take kind of on a day-to-day -day basis uh, when I go backpacking and stuff like that. There's all my different fuels, nice and organized, which is nice. Fire kits, got a bunch of fat wood from Pine Fire as well as Four Directions Bushcraft, supporting both of those guys, really, really good companies. Um, this is kind of my charging area. I just recently put this together. You can see I've got my drone charger, I've got 
different types of rechargeable batteries, a camcorder, a GoPro, all that stuff's there, which is really nice. I do have a big first aid kit here. I'm keeping some of my preps out here. Um, uh, there's a lot of camping gear up here. Uh, Boy Scout stuff we use for scouts, uh, which is really nice. Uh, a much needed coffee station, as you can see. The old Keurig that I found that I have re, uh, re put to use. I just put a war bonnet thing here because this is where my war bonnet goods stay. Wool blanket. Very nice that I can keep my top quilt and bottom quilt uh, open. This is my wall of backpacks, which is really, really nice. I'm excited about that. I'm gonna save the desk area for last. Over here, uh, you can see a uh, little area again for art for my wife. Um, got some of my uh, AR-15 carrying case, pistol case. That's an air gun to my son's. Um, got a couple of axes here. I made this, found this really nice little kind of red, white and, uh, board in the old shop and I made it into a little axe handle or a little axe carrier. Got my Snow and Neely, Penobscot Bay kindling axe and my Lestra Wetterlings axe up there. Put this up here, kind of some grab and go stuff. I keep my a couple of small flashlights just in case I need lanterns, some gloves, uh, rain gear here, binoculars, stuff like that. Uh, trash cans, we need those. This is actually gonna get trashed here soon. This is an old unit from my uh, old shop at the house. This is all our geocaching stuff. We bought this particular piece from the prior owner for I think about 50 bucks. Um, I've got all my, uh, got my sewing machine, leather working goods, uh, kind of a lot of miscellaneous stuff up in here, hiking stuff, um, stickers, a navigation box, there's my spot messenger. And then over on this side, I've got all of my different um, backpacking meals. Um, I went to Walmart um, last year probably, and they were closing out these mountain houses. And I bought pretty much all these in here for like 15 bucks. They were like 99 cents each. I'm not really sure what the deal is, but I bought every single one that they had and I went across town to another Walmart and they didn't have that sale. So, and they also had a couple of these backpackers pantry. I, I literally bought almost all this for like $25, which is crazy. And then a bunch of packing gourmet stuff. And then I have a bunch of ammo down there, 22 LR, lots of ammo, uh, 223, 38 special, AR-15 magazines. I have a bunch of AR-15 magazines, high capacity, which I bought when I thought they may be outlawed. This is electronics, camera gear, tripods for the channel, obviously drone, some lighting down there. And then over here is a new area that I've kind of put together. Oh, well, there's my um, gun safe. It's not fireproof or anything, it's just a holder for security more than anything. It's a fingerprint. I used to keep that in the house so the kids could not uh, get into it. So this is the desk area, which I'm really, really happy how it turned out. It's been kind of an evolution. I uh, have these two old IKEA pieces that we used to use in the classroom. And you can see I've got a lot of my preps down here, infection control box with things for biological emergencies, general emergencies. That's separate, that's just a soldering kit. Uh, emergency uh, medicines, emergency candles, a gun cleaning kit. There's a bunch of matches. I probably have 10,000 matches in there. Um, some other stuff here. Another one of these Ikeas along the side. Got some camping gear, uh, cooking gear, a little reflectix, some um, blankets. This is pretty cool. This is a um, microphone, obviously, uh, that I use for voiceover for the channel with a little pop screen. Uh, really nice, pretty cool that I got, I recently got that set up. A nice big area to um, work. This is a door that was a mess up on the house build. We got two doors that were left, so I made one into a um, desk here. As you can see, reading lamp. I got an old Vizio TV. All the HDMIs are out in this, so I had to buy an HDMI adapter and this whole bit. At some point, I'm just gonna buy a bigger monitor, but um, Anyway, that works. I can watch my YouTube videos out here, which is what I do. 
got a bunch of backpacking, um, you know, Yellowstone guides, Buffalo River, things close to me, a bunch of bushcraft books. Uh, over here is more just electronics, um, guitar tuners, stuff like that, just miscellaneous things. I have my guitar here, my old Takamini that I've had since high school. It's a really special piece here. My best friend, Maurice, graduated from the Air Force Academy, and uh, when he did, he got me this, which is um, pretty special. Uh, definitely one of my uh, most prized possessions here from Maurice. Okay, so that's a quick look here at the shop. I hope you guys liked it. I love being out here. I gotta be honest with you. Um, I spend quite a bit of time out here. Um, it gives me a chance to uh, tinker, to um, just uh, mess with kits and do my thing and, and have space. The actual space is about 24 by 20, which is, um, um, I'd say probably four times bigger than my prior shop, which really nice space, really happy with it. Still constantly kind of working on different things for it, trying to get it better. Um, I finally got this area much better from the standpoint of editing for my um, internet and for, for, you know, for YouTube. Uh, I got my microphone set up, which is really nice. I'm definitely gonna get some kind of a new monitor. I think um, I really want a 4K monitor. So yeah, I'm gonna end up getting a monitor at some point. That's the only other thing I really wanna do here. Other than that, I'm just gonna continue to enjoy the space. I am gonna make some kind of a workbench in the middle of the uh, place for leather working, um, from small, maybe hand uh, tool work. I really don't wanna get this shop full of sawdust and dirty and stuff like that. So I may do a, a little bit of hand tool work, but nothing significant, but definitely a lot of leather work. So there you go, guys. If you have any suggestions on things I could do to make it cooler, I'm always looking for cool things to do here in the man cave. Uh, as I said, I kind of look at it as the Paleo Hiker MD layer. This is where everything comes out of, um, and I really enjoy it. And it's a big part of the reason that we moved out to the country. So as always, I appreciate y'all watching Paleo Hiker MD. Look forward to more videos soon. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. I am coming up on 5,000 subscribers, which I'm really, really surprised and excited about. So I will be having some kind of a giveaway in the next month or so for that 5,000 subscribers. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And um, appreciate you guys tuning in. And stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.